Why? Because he's talented. And they want to see him fight. And he's got his hands full. Because he's got the unbeaten, mandatory challenger in Mark Messiah. A puncher. A boxer. And had a hell of a fight against Zayhoff where he had to come back and knock down his opponent. All right, Mr. Russell, it's great to have you back. And you have certainly had to deal with so much personally outside of the ring. Um, you've talked about your dad, who always has been your trainer. Right. He certainly had had uh, his issues uh, medically. You even talked about the other day that you had been dealing with a slight injury in this camp as you trained yourself Will any of that be a problem for you come Saturday night? Hell nah. Um, at the end of the day, I'm a gladiator, I'm a warrior. I love what I do. I love competing and showing the fans the skill set and which that I bring to the sport of boxing. Um, we always been them type of people that got it from the mud. Nothing came easy for us. Um, I'm not I'm not an unfamiliar territory. You know, I don't know anybody else that can cover for it. It's, it's one thing because, you know, generally we see you once a year. It's, it's been nearly two years since we've seen you. Um, Father Time is undefeated. That's right. Any concern of ring rust, slippage at all from Mr. Gary Russell Jr. come Saturday night? Nah, no concerns. I'm always in the gym. I never, <laughs> my PI, somebody asked me when was the last time that I took two months off from training. That was probably since I was about four or five years old. You know, I'm always in the gym. Um, boxing is not just something that I do, it's a lifestyle for me. So even when, at the conclusion of my sport, I still be in the gym, I still be training to keep myself in a certain type of condition, in a certain type of shape, regardless of what the situation is. So now, no signs of rain rest. We put the work in in the gym. Mark, listen, he hasn't been very active been nearly two years since he's fought. Do you think his inactivity and father time will be an advantage for you and be his undoing come Saturday night? Um, hey everyone, um, this is a really good fighter. Um, I've been wanting him to fight with me uh, since I was a kid. Um, I was in a world title fight. Now this is opportunity comes to me. So I was so excited when I my one of my mother's already uh, very awesome. There's no request for him. It's good. Five have tried, Mark. Uh, none of them have been successful. You tell us why you're the guy who will finally dethrone Gary Russell Jr. Maybe I'm the one who one, wants to beat him. Maybe the next time they did the survey in a second loss. Gary, listen, you know every fighter has their critics. That's right. There's some big names out there. Um, what's the message, I guess, you're trying to send to some of those big names who haven't gotten in the ring with you and to those critics of Mr. Gary Russell Jr. come Saturday night? That's a tough question. Because to be honest with you, if I go out there and I destroy them all, Come Saturday night. These big fighters, they not going to be too, they already haven't been in the rush of stepping in the ring with me. So I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be willing to step into the ring with me then. Um, my message is already the same, you know, to, to display my superiority in the ring. Um, I believe in intellect over athleticism, no matter what the situation is. Um, I take my head off to Mark, because he's one of these guys that's willing to step in the ring and that's willing to actually compete and put it all on the line. He wants to become a champion. I know he's going to give it his best. A lot of these guys that become champions or that are champions, they tend to try to hide in the shadows at that point. They don't want to compete against the best. So I know Mark is going to bring his physical best. I know he, he wants it. You know, so uh, it's a pleasure to be able to share the field of battle with you. That's it. That's all. We coming. We coming. Mark. You know, opponents that Gary has faced, he's faced aggressive guys. Uh, he's faced some guys who can box. 
What's the skill set that you have that you say, you know what, you have to face this, and this is the reason why I'm going to be victorious Saturday? Um, uh, I can fight, I can adjust the fight in the middle of the fight. I have speed, you speed, I have speed. So, it's in this Saturday. So, let's go. You know, you told the media on Saturday night, Gary Russell Jr. is going to find out what Filipinos are made of. Yeah. Tell us what you meant by that. Because uh, there's a lot of uh, here that uh, I don't have uh, skills like, like him, but uh, Filipino is a Filipino. We born strong. We are, we are warrior. Love it. Lastly, Gary, you know, for those guys, and I'm talking about those big names who certainly are going to be watching this fight, what do you say to those guys? Stop acting like a son of being the ring. Point blank period. We're gladiators, we're fighters. Conduct yourself in session, be a fighter. Don't pick and choose who you're going to fight against. That's right. Just like Mark said, you know, uh, he said he's going to show you what the Filipinos bring and what they mean. Uh, that's honorable. That's very honorable, you know, for you to want to support not just yourself, but your people as a whole. That's what you're supposed to do. You know, I wish Leo Santa Cruz would be willing to do something like that. You know, I'm pretty sure the Hispanic community would want Leo Santa Cruz to get his ring and then compete and fight. I mean, they probably don't even care if he loses. They just want to see him fight. Show a sense of honor. Show a sense of integrity. That's what we're looking at in the sport of boxing. I feel like the sport of boxing is getting weak to a certain extent, and it's a few guys like Mark and like myself that's willing to put it all on the line. You know, yeah, I take my hat off to Jojo Diaz. Always got shot at my man Jojo. Um, and even King Tug, he was willing to put it all on the line, you know, for the Mongolian people, you know, um, to support them and, and the sense of honor and integrity. That's what we need in the sport. Let's keep it moving. Let's not let the sport get watered down anymore. We need real gladiators. We need real fighters. I know we had COVID, and you certainly have talked about the things that you had to deal with from, from your family, from a personal issue over this past year. Do you believe 2022 is the year we'll see Gary Russell Jr. twice? <sighs> man, God, but I don't know. It's, just, uh, it's always up to God, man. Um, I think we've got a good chance at it, though. We're competing in the first month of the year. You know, so God willing, we get through this match injury free. Like I said, I got a slight injury right now, but no complaint, no crying, no bitching, no moaning. We get in front of mud anyway. Um, we're going to give it our best, and if we get through this fight, uh, I think we should be able to swing back around come mid summer. That'll be our second bout um, in this year, and then we should be able to finish the year out strong too. So we can see Gary Russell? It's, it's very possible that we can see. You can see me three times in a year. Um, as long as we have a willing opponent, someone that's willing to actually compete. Like I say, I'm willing to move up and fluctuate my weight. Um, I just refuse to relinquish or, or vacate my title to move up and stand in line. If I'm going to move up in weight, let me move up and compete against another champion. That's it, that's all. Folks, it is a triple head of fights, and it all goes down here at the Bergato. Hotel, Casino, and Spa in Atlantic City. Showtime Championship Boxing, 9 p.m. Eastern. That is 6 o'clock Pacific time. You do not want to miss it. Gentlemen, we're going to have a face-off. Uh, let's start with the first fight. First fight of the night. So if we can get King Tug.